Prince Harry could be getting ready to unleash on his family again. What? It comes after it was revealed that King had booted the Sussexes out of their British home. But, if that wasn't enough, <laughs> Prince Andrew could be about to move in to Frogmore Cottage. The family tension is expected to rise even further when the Prince unpacks his trauma, opening up on a live stream this weekend. Yeah, for more, we're joined by Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield. Good morning to you. Well, what happened behind the scenes with the Royals in the lead up to this eviction story? That's right, Matt and Nat, I feel like we talk about this every mm -hmm. week now. Harry and Meghan, unhappy again. Um, but we're finding out that, you know, King Charles said that this was like ripping off a Band-Aid. Um, he actually was so frustrated and disappointed by the release of Spare and, you know, the lead up with the Netflix series that the, the King and the palace decided that they, they needed to get, they needed to disconnect from Harry and Meghan a little bit more. I would call this consequences, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. And so uh, the, the King did tell them the day after the release of Spare that, you know, they needed to get the rest of their belongings out of Frogmore Cottage. We are hearing that um, Prince Andrew really has no desire to move in there. But ultimately, the king is trying to cut ties with any sort of drama leading up to the coronation because he really wants everything to be clean, calm and perfect for his big day on May the 6th. Mm. Yeah, well, wanting a perfect family, that could be Good a luck. step too far. <laughs> So there are also stories that this was leaked by Harry and Meghan, was it, this story? Well, you know, that is one thing that I sincerely wonder because, as you know, they have had an excruciating last few weeks between Spare, all the Todger talk, and, you know, the, the South Park episode. They have taken several hits. So could they be potentially releasing this story to garner sympathy from people? And I'm actually surprised by the amount of sympathy I'm seeing on social media. I mean, I typically don't feel sorry for millionaires that have lost access to their, you know, glorified Airbnb. Yeah. Um, but people really are taking up for them online. They think that this is not a good look for the king. Well, they're not living there at the moment. They're in the US. So it just amazes me that there is this sympathy. Um, take us through this live stream that's happening on the weekend. Uh, he's going to talk, Harry's going to talk to a trauma expert. What do you expect to come of all of that? Yeah, a totally normal behavior, right? Let me just unpack my trauma in front of all of these strangers on the so internet. Weird. And you know, Matt, classic. Now I've got to buy another copy of Spare to sit through more Harry trauma. You get a free copy of Spare, a free copy of Spare uh, when you sign on to watch this discussion. Uh, I do anticipate that he's going to drop more truth bombs or he's going to be critical towards his family again. I was actually really surprised to see that he was doing this in the lead up to the coronation. I thought perhaps they'd sit back and, and allow things to settle down a little bit more. But I, I do think that this is a sure sign that they really have no, in, you know, no no desire yeah. whatsoever to attend. Yeah, look, it's easy to bag them and pile on, isn't it? And I must admit, the more I read of the book, the more I disliked him. But what's the view in the US? Because they've traditionally been very popular there. They've taken a huge hit. I don't know if you'll believe this, but Newsweek just released a poll where they are actually less popular than Prince Andrew. And Prince Andrew's scandals are really American-based. So the idea that they would be less popular in the States than Prince Andrew is quite shocking. And they are still more popular in America than they probably are anywhere else, but mm. it's less popular than Prince Andrew, if that gives you an idea of those polling numbers, if that gives you an idea of, of really what type of support they have here, which is, is mm. dwindling. It'd be interesting mm. to, to see, in terms of individuals, Meghan versus Harry and their mm. popularity now as well. Um, yeah. Where does this all end? Because we, we keep going around in circles in regards to hearing from Harry. Um, King Charles is trying to tie up loose ends, but where does it all end? 
Well, I think if you look at the Wallace and Edward saga, you saw that the royal family really cut them off, went their separate ways, and pretended like they didn't exist anymore. And I wonder if that's what the, the royal family is doing in this instance. I think Harry and Meghan could have success if they went on to pursue, you know, valuable charity initiatives, things that they were really sincere about, not some of these. Um, Meghan jumps on trends. What is the hashtag today? Oh, I'm going to be so excited about that for the next 24 hours. If they really invested time in some crucial, mm. you know, charities that they were passionate about, I think that they could find a place for themselves. Mm. But I think the royal family's move right now is to pretend like they don't exist. Yeah, and <laughs> Meghan and Harry's currency is talking about the life that they had. So once that's over, it'd be Kin interesting to see. Kinsey, thank you so much mm. for joining us. Very hard thank for the royal mm. family to act like they don't exist because they keep popping up in yeah. front of us. Yeah, and they're leading mm. the news all around the world.